Today we're in Job chapters 11 and 12, where we're reminded of not only the infinite wisdom of God, but also our own limitations. Zophar, one of Job's friends, claims that the mysteries of God are too much for anyone to understand, a truth that no one can dispute, but Zophar mistakenly uses the truth to accuse Job of hidden sins due to his suffering. Job, on the other hand, correctly identifies the real source of wisdom, which is God himself. Listen to Zophar's words in Job 11, 7 through 9. Can you solve the mysteries of God? Can you discover everything about the Almighty? Such knowledge is higher than the heavens, and who are you? It is deeper than the underworld. What do you know? It measures longer than the earth and is wider than the sea. Often, we struggle to comprehend God's ways. His wisdom is beyond our comprehension. This shouldn't be something that discourages us, but rather encourages us to lean on Him, to lean on His understanding, not ours. Our limited understanding should drive us to seek Him more deeply. Job emphasizes this in chapter 12, verse 13, where it says, But true wisdom and power are found in God. Counsel and understanding are His. When trials come, when our understanding falls short, we need to turn to God. He alone holds all wisdom and understanding. We must approach life with humility, acknowledging our limited understanding and embracing God's wisdom. This humble pursuit leads us to the true wisdom, a deeper relationship with God himself, who lovingly instructs us in his counsel and understanding. Let me leave you with the words of the prophet Isaiah in Isaiah 55 verses 8 through 9. My thoughts are nothing like your thoughts, says the Lord, and my ways are far beyond anything you can imagine. For just as the heavens are higher than the earth, so my ways are higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts.